Is this an outbreak of buying opportunities? Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. Now it seems today that markets have begun to enter a very strong risk-off period that appears to be related to the coronavirus. So Italy in particular seems to be hit very hard today for whatever reason. Somebody seems to have just had the decision to, uh, to sell stocks because they believe there's going to be significant economic damage as a result of the virus. However, in the last 10 years, pretty much all investors around the world have been taught that they need to buy the dip at every opportunity. No matter the event that causes it, they should buy stocks whenever they fall in price. So this presents to us today this uh, dilemma of whether or not this mentality will actually be successful this time around. You know, whether it's going to hold, whether the same will prove to be true again. And there's two competing narratives on this. The first is that this is another buy the dip event that economic shocks from coronavirus will of course be temporary in the end, say one quarter of, of bad economic growth, bad uh, corporate results, bad whatever else causes stock markets to fall. The point being that it's a temporary blip, another opportunity to buy the dip. The counter argument is that the coronavirus is like a black swan. It's an external shock that triggers other things to go wrong. The metaphor that most people use is that it's the snowflake that causes the avalanche. The point being that it's all about how the snow is lying on the side of the mountain that you need to focus on. It's not which particular snowflake triggers the avalanche in the end. And we've profiled what, what sort of crises might happen in past daily blitzes. We've shown how the snowpack is threatening an avalanche and it doesn't really matter what the snowflake is, but coronavirus is a, a prime example of one and that could kick off um, the debt crisis, for example. So uh, to use another metaphor, it's a bit like the, uh, the financial world is full of unexploded ordnance, and all it requires is just one small fuse to set one or several of these off. So for example, uh, you know, a very strong dollar might uh, result uh, in a load of debt default around the world because so much uh, debt around the world is denominated in dollars. We've also got the huge uh, amount of leverage within the European banking system, and Europe is one of these areas that would be hit very hard by a big slowdown in China. But the question remains, will, will this uh, coronavirus actually do severe economic damage, which will inevitably create one of these crises. At least that's the question you're seeing presented to you in the media. I'm worried that there's something else going on. And it's all about whether central bankers can fight off coronavirus, whether they can keep financial markets elevated as the coronavirus continues. Now, obviously, central bankers can't cure coronavirus, but they might be able to prevent the effects of coronavirus from showing up in places like the stock market. And what we've seen today is that maybe they can't. And that's a complete narrative change as well. It should also be mentioned that if this is, is indeed a buy the dip opportunity, well, it's also a short selling opportunity as well, because we've seen some significant rallies in the likes of gold, which has done incredibly well over the, just the last few days, busting past the $1,600 mark and appears to still be having a very strong wind behind it. So in theory, if this is simply a buy the dip opportunity and the things are just going to return back to normal, the coronavirus will simply blow away. Well, the likes of gold should in theory just go down, in which case short sellers of gold would be highly rewarded. If you are interested in learning how to profit from falling stocks, our colleague Owen Tracy has a promotion out about his newsletter which shows investors how to do so. You can click on the link in the description below. Well that sums up today's Daily Blitz. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell down below and we'll see you in the next one.